here's a website question. Should prices be on a funeral home website? And my answer is yes. Next question. No. <laughs> but uh, really, there's no reason why they shouldn't be on your website. This is the information highway. People expect information. If they, you know, if you were to go to try to book a flight to go somewhere or try to book a hotel room and, you know, they said, oh, call us for information or call us for pricing information, you get really frustrated. And I know our industry is different, but a lot of people don't see it any different. They see it as a service-based business. They want to get a general idea before they start, you know, making phone calls and things like that. So, but when I say yes, I don't mean just slap up your general price list. You should explain each offering in your audio or video form. So hopefully you're not thinking this, but I'm sure other people are thinking this. You know what? The reason why I don't have my prices on the website is that I can explain it better over the phone. I can explain it better than everyone. So that's great. What you should do is get a program um, you probably have a microphone on your computer or your laptop, and you can use a free program called Audacity, which is a free audio recording program, and record your answer. So just pretend someone has phoned you and said, you can, can you tell me the price of a funeral service and give me the price and all of the details? Imagine that they asked you that question, and then you can go on your two or three minute response but record it because the thing is when you're on the phone you don't always have the chance to go on for two or three minutes solid you know sometimes they're kind of butting in or asking or you can kind of feel they're getting a little frustrated like come on get on with it but if you were to do this and record that as an audio put it on your website as an audio file or put it on you know add it to a few slides and create a slideshow just like what you're seeing here and explain each one and what you're doing then is you are engaging them a little bit further. Instead of just seeing that price list, which most price lists look really confusing, you can then kind of bridge the gap there, build a little bit of rapport, build them up through that, getting them to know you, getting to like you, getting to trust you here. And, and maybe you have a, just a little screen capture video where you're explaining how to go through your price list and how it all works to so that they don't get confused. And then I'd also consider um, a pricing comparison. And this is either maybe just between all of your services. So, you know, a lot of people are now having to compete against discounters, but they don't want to discount their price. So you've probably seen online uh, when you're buying different services, they might have a price comparison of, you know, what's the bronze, silver, and gold, platinum, uh, gold and platinum uh, service levels and there's a little matrix like a spreadsheet with you know check marks or X's usually just check marks uh, for the ones that apply and then people can then visually see what you know what the different services include instead of just a whole paragraph it's very hard for them to digest a paragraph of how you explain a traditional funeral versus digesting a memorial service and so on a grid, uh, you, can, you can do that quite well. You can also, if you need to lower your, say for immediate cremation, you want to lower your price, you have your base immediate cremation price, which you know, maybe it's um, $2,500 and you know, the discounters are doing it for 1000 So you've got your price. Now you could even strip down that price of, and make one that would be $1,000 but they would then be able to compare side by side you know the super basic only you know has this bare minimum stuff look for an extra thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars we get all these other things and you know it could be uh, you know aftercare it could be um, an id of the deceased and all kinds of different things i you know i don't want to kind of get into that but just kind of either comparing your own um, services side by side so people can then evaluate the value on their behalf by just uh, glancing it or in your m market you can do this against your competitors and just have a side by side comparison obviously you want it to be as um, accurate as possible but you also want to 
display it in a manner that it looks like that it's better for you than for your competitors. So you're going to think hard of all the different things that you can provide that they don't. And, you know, so maybe you have an on-site catering facility, you have an on-site crematorium or things like that. Those are, you know, things that other firms may have access to those offerings, but maybe it's not off-site. So uh, maybe it's not on-site. So by doing that kind of comparison, it really, in a visual format, lets people know how to um, quickly where they can see value. Now, maybe they don't see value in the other stuff and they'll pick the cheapest one, but by even educating them and showing them the differences in a very easy to understand format, you're going to build up some trust in that aspect. And maybe they'll end up choosing you instead of just throwing, you know, giving them a very complicated, you know, 15 page price list to, to digest. 